Laura, oh, hey, hi. how are you doing? Good, you? I'm very well, I'm very well. How's it going? I love your hat and your outfit. It's Thank amazing. you. It's amazing. It's the same yellow as the gifted poster. I like that. That's very cool. Thank you for representing. <laughs> so, uh, did you get to see the movie Gifted? I did. You did? Oh, what did you think? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, cute. So, like, McKenna's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. So where's McKenna from? McKenna is from Texas, which is in the south of the uh, of the United States, but she lives in California. Oh, nice. You know when McKenna cries for some scenes mm -hmm. and like she laughs, she mm -hmm. she dances around. So, mm -hmm. do you like tell her to do those things or does it just come out? Well, you know, uh, for an actor having an emotional scene where they're crying, uh, can be very difficult, but uh, McKenna, first of all, has a, a wonderful talent, so she can access that. But she uses methods to to invite that out of herself. So one of the things she does is she'll go off and she'll watch videos of uh, of uh, you know animals that are, are mistreated, and like you know, like there's a Sarah McLaughlin video uh, that's about uh, I think it's a PETA video where she's singing the arms of an angel and you see dogs shivering in the cold and it makes her feel sad and then she'll use that emotion and bring it into the scene. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Not every, not everybody can do it. Not even adults. Most adults can't do it, but she is very talented and somehow has uh, access to those emotions. How did Mary mm -hmm. uh, McKenna mm -hmm. in the movie, she's Mary, so I'm going to call her Mary when That's she's cool. in the movie. Um, and how did she like meet Fred? She well, in the movie they talk a little bit that she found Fred yeah. and, and adopted him. Uh, she found Fred in a in in uh, near street. some garbage cans. Yeah, next to some bottles or something. She says. When she writes the numbers on the board, you know, in the university. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, does is it does she, is it her writing? Yeah, it's her writing all those numbers because uh, we wanted to get the handwriting to be authentic and real feeling. And one of the ways she memorized those numbers was she put it to a song. So she, she and her mother wrote out a song and pretended that these things were lyrics and she would sing to herself as she would write uh, because it was easier for her to remember the song than the equation. Why did she always want a piano? So she would be like, <laughs> Frank, buy me a piano. Yeah, no. Oh, my grandma had a piano, but now nah, I won't want to live here. Yeah, she has a piano. I think, uh, you know, one of the things we learned when we were researching gifted children is sometimes, or often, kids who are good at math are also good at music. And a piano was a, uh, is a symbol, I think, of, of wealth, and, and it costs a lot of money sometimes to buy a piano. And so Frank couldn't always afford it, and that was something that uh, when he saw the Foster family had a piano, he thought that they could offer her something that he couldn't, and that was very uh, emotional for him. Oh, so that's why um, when he looked at the piano, he yeah. was like, "When can we put her in?" Like, you know. Yeah, that's a, a moment when he agreed to to that it might be good for her to be in that home. Yeah. What happened to Frank and um, Mary? And um, Fred, in the end. Uh, uh, well, you have afterwards. to see the movie. You have to see the movie. But uh, I think they good things happen to them. You know, they become a little family. Like, what should kids my age like should look like pay attention to most in the movie? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of things to. I think it's a fun movie. I think it makes you feel something good. Did you feel good after watching it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. One of the things that I like about the movie is the girls are smart. The girls are all the, all the smart ones, which is the way it is typically, right? Like in school, the girls usually do better. Um, but I think that uh, something that's important in America, where I'm from, is that to reassure people that uh, sometimes non-traditional families are okay. Sometimes the families that uh, we have um, don't don't always aren't always the best for us and but if we're lucky and if we try we can create our own families and I think that's an important thing to acknowledge and understand uh, uh, in, in our culture um, but really I just want us to appreciate the people that love us and and feel a tenderness for those people that are around us <laughs> Mitene, mitene, mitene.